I want you guys to answer this question. Which emulator do you think I am using while recording the gameplay which you are seeing right now? Is it the Lemuroid or is it the Citra? Comment down below and I'll tell you guys the answer at the end of this video. Yo guys this is Atrix here, today we might be getting a brand new king of 3D simulators for Android. I'll be comparing Lemuroid and Citra MMJ head on and will be telling you guys which 3D simulator is best to use in 2022. Well, I have set some terms for this comparison. I'll be comparing on the basis of usability which means that it should be practical, it should be easy to use and also in terms of compatibility and performance. With these three terms, I can easily uh, deduce which is the best 3D simulator for Android. Starting off, we have Lemuroid 3DS. If we go to settings, you can see it's very simplistic. There are no uh, like technical settings. You can change the display filter. You can go to advanced settings, enable rumble if you want vibrations while emulating a game. You can also change audio settings, but that's all you can do in the main Lemuroid emulator settings. Now once we head on to the game and open game menu, you can see that there will be more settings in the core option. In terms of resolution scaling, you can increase it up to 10x which is too overkill for me and in screens layout, you can either choose top to bottom or left to right. Enable accurate shader multiplication and we'll just go ahead and go back. Now let me show you guys that left to right screen layout isn't that great. So I'll have to change this. In my opinion, screen layout of Lemuroid is not that impressive because it's just too small. But if we go to settings and select top to bottom screen layout and we'll just enable fast forward option, then we'll see the magic. So now we are supposed to get up to 60 fps while emulating 3ds games in Lemuroid. So here we go, our game has begun. In the top to bottom screen layout, I will tell you guys that it gives you an console experience. So in Citra you can uh, uh, use the screen layout large but in my opinion top to bottom is also not that bad. Now if we just go ahead and change the resolution scaling to 10x you can see the game starts lagging immediately. Now I have a flagship device with Snapdragon 888 processor and still the game lags which means that 10x resolution is just overkill. Now I'll uh, bump it down to 4x resolution and you can see the game appears to be working perfectly smooth. Now there are no visible texture issues but there will be texture issues in Citra MMJ which I'll talk about later on. As you can see the cutscenes are perfect. Now the problem comes as soon as you leave the house. You'll immediately see a drop in FPS. As soon as you move out to open areas, you'll see that your game will start lagging. So let me just go ahead and scroll down and as you can see, we have entered an open area and the uh, lag isn't noticeable but you feel it though, the FPS will drop. So I just went out to settings and let me decrease my resolution scaling to 3x and or 2x, let's keep it at 2x because uh, 720p is also a good resolution. You can see that the game appears to be working more smooth now than before. So open areas will decrease your FPS in Lemuroid which shouldn't happen because uh, in my opinion, Lemuroid is good and all but it's still under development, it is alpha, it is all-in-one emulator so it has lot of emulation components in it but if I had to choose Lemuroid or if I had to rate Lemuroid, I would rate it 9 out of 10 in terms of emulation and I know you guys are getting issues such as Liberto Core not found or something like that while trying to emulate games in Lemuroid well that means that your device is not compatible to run Lemuroid emulator. So that's very unfortunate, you'll need to use Citra MMJ instead of Lemuroid if you get that error. But other than that, the gameplay appears to be working perfectly fine. On low-end devices, it will still work fine. Even on Mali GPUs, it will still be playable 100% than that of Citra MMJ. But here in Citra MMJ, as you can see, as soon as we start, we'll get texture issues. So we'll have to enable accurate shader multiplication geometry shaders. You'll notice that the flickering issue has gone and if you use accurate shader multiplication at accurate level to fix these issues then you will lose performance so fps will drop down uh, depending on your device so for those of you guys who have low-end device don't enable accurate shader multiplication to accurate keep it at fast now as soon as the game starts here is a problem which i noticed so you can see the texture doesn't look good at all my character looks like it has been drawn using a pencil it really looks rotten i thought it was due to one of my settings so i disabled all of these settings such as linear filter etc and it didn't improve at all the textures of the game still look like 
a painting uh, that's what i would call it uh, as soon as you move around you will still see that the textures of only characters and pokemons will be affected other textures such as background boxes you'll see that it's perfectly clear and i am emulating in 4x resolution don't forget that guys so this texture issue should not be present at such high resolution and that is why i do not like citra mmj but 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 everything has an advantage and disadvantage if you have a low end device i would close my eyes and recommend you guys citra mmj android but if you are having a good device and if you want to enjoy uh, and have good user experience then citra mmj is not the one for you you will see that in the cut scenes the texture appears to be fine as soon as the cut scene is over again uh, the character seems to be little glitched out uh, so in my opinion i would find it distracting we saw before in lemuroid that as soon as we exit the house there were frame drops but not in the case of citra mmj you will see that it is running straight up at uh, 60 fps 200% speed and let me enable settings enable fmv hack etc and show you guys that i am using 4x resolution again so there are no frame drops uh, to be considered in terms of emulation on citra mmj but in lemuroid there were noticeable frame drops and because of that i had to decrease uh, resolution but those uh, uh, frame drops are nothing major in uh, terms of emulation 30 fps is great but if you are wanting 60 fps stable then it's bit too much to ask because even console managed to run games at only 30 fps now here comes the moment of truth and my conclusion the gameplay which you saw at the beginning of the video was taken on the lemuroid emulator as you can see i have zoomed out and lemuroid 3ds emulator was running this game perfectly fine without any texture glitches it was very crisp and very stable no uh, major frame drops there were frame drops while rendering uh, new cut scenes etc but other than that in the open world scenario lemuroid works very well now what would i rate lemuroid i would rate lemuroid 9 out of 10 if you have a good device if you don't have too much time to go through complicated settings or just use a uh, lot of your knowledge then just download lemuroid emulator and start playing or start emulating nintendo 3ds games on it it is way more easier than citra mmj as in citra mmj there are lot of settings but 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 if you have a low end device which is not capable of running lemuroid then you will again have to go back to citra mmj i would rate citra mmj 8 out of 10 only because of the texture issue i'll deduct one point or else both are really same in terms of emulation i would rate both of them 9 out of 9 9 out of 10 <laughs> not 9 out of 9 but anyways if you have a low end device go for citra mmj but you will face lot of texture glitch, uh, glitches and issues which won't go away unfortunately it will only go away if you enable accurate shader multiplication which will again cause your uh, device to lose performance i leave the decision up to you guys will you crown lemuroid 3d simulator the new king of 3d simulators for android or will you prefer to use citra mmj more than lemuroid let me know in the comment section down below but anyways that's it for today's video thanks for watching make sure you like and subscribe goodbye see you guys later